Hey, wait just a second. This isn't the normal intro. No, no, it's not. No, the circumstances of today has made it to where I'm just doing the intro here in the gym. But today is a special day because it's chest day and I'm already here set up on the Smith machine. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and we'll just get into it. All right. Let's go ahead and do this first set. I've already done warm up sets. I did two, well, I did three. Wait, no, two. One with no weight, one with just the 25. So. We'll do one more with that weight. Uh, I am feeling particularly partic I'm feeling kind of weak today unfortunately but it's okay we'll do what we got to do Alrighty, I'm just going to call this one the last set. And then we'll move on to... Some type of, uh, you know what, probably the plate loaded incline. We'll do that. I think, I think that'll be... Fantastic. Go do the other thing. Whew. Okay, 
Um, I'll probably do three sets. I think three sets would be just fine on this machine. Okay, I will make this the last set and do, I, I think I want to do bent over flies, like cable flies. I haven't done those in a good while, and the squeeze that you normally get on that is, it's fantastic. So. So like I said, the squeeze you get from the bottom of this movement, crazy. Oh, God. All right, for this last set, I lowered the weight so I can go through the set slow and controlled and really squeeze at the bottom. Still going to failure, but most of the reps are gonna be slow and controlled.
All right, now we'll move on to some lateral raises. Okay, same thing as the last video. We're gonna do just normal lateral, ra lateral raises and then drop set them to just five pounds and then just go to failure from there. Now, if you do this at any point, the fives are going to feel crazy light till about the 10th, 12th rep. And then from there, it's just going to burn, and, but you're just going to keep going. And I think I said this in the last one, but you'll get to a point where you're, you know, you're doing the drop set and you just can't go up anymore, so you're just bouncing. You really want to just try and imagine you're putting your hand through, or trying to put your hand through the wall. Right, so when you're bouncing, really just try and put your hand through the wall and try to get to the top of that movement. All right, I'm only gonna do one more set of this because on that Smith machine, I really felt it in my shoulders there towards the end. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this last set here and then we'll go take a look at the pump. I think when I said pump just then, the last P was really emphasized. Like I like do one of those. Done with that. Let's go take a look at it. All right. Let's take a look. It's not bad.
think this pose right here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, it's not too bad. Okay, well, that's uh, that's it. That is the that is the end of the video. Um, there was a couple day gap between the last video, and you can tell because the last one was chest, and now we're doing chest like again, but. I was gonna record and there were just things that kind of happened that led to a video not happening. For example, I recorded hamstrings yesterday, like the entire thing. The intro, the workout, the outro, you know, all that good stuff. Put it into the editing software and realized the whole time that it was in slow motion so that was fun. Yeah, so there was no audio or nothing. Um, so yeah, that sucked. But I, I, I double-checked to make sure that this one was not going to be in slow motion. So I need to review my footage more often during the workout rather than just as soon as I get home. But yeah, so great chest day, great shoulder pump, great chest pump. Uh, yeah, so I will, I will catch y'all in the next one.